Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and I hope you're ready to go deep because we got to explore the deep zone today. It looks like it's a nice day out there with a whole storm all the way across my map. What a great day to go out and destroy this thing for the 15th time. And looking at the list, I would really like to buy the Junction Restabilizer, but shocker, I need more Thermosap Crystals. I need Thermosap Crystals for my engine as well. I was considering actually purchasing the final engine because I could get that if I research the limb chip and see how we unlock that one. But then there's also the option of getting a slightly better tires. We can go to the all-terrains. I have a little bit of off-road and puncture proof on my car right now. All-terrains essentially just give them 50 more HP and make them good in both off off-road and on-road, hence the name of all terrain. So I need to research carbon fiberglass for that. We should probably just do that anyway. So welcome to the club. And yeah, we'll buy these wheels. It's only one kilowatt of power. I got five anyway, so we should definitely get some more upgrades as well. Let's go see how much these bad boys are going to cost me. Oh, great. So to make carbon fiberglass, I need tree candy. Uh, and I need that for every tire. I think I need two. Yeah, I need two carbon fiberglass for each tire. So I'm not going to be able to make any of those tires right now. So that's a big bummer. Uh, we got to figure out where to get tree candy exactly. I don't really remember. I've only gotten two so far. All right, we'll get the leak resistant fuel tank uh, just because it's going to be a decent upgrade. I have had a leaky tank quite a few times actually, so I may as well do that. I don't know if I need to actually install that. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. And shocker, I need carbon fiberglass for that too. Oh, we're, we are not going to get any upgrades done because I need stupid tree candy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to research the limb chip only because I really want to see if I can make this engine or not. Wouldn't it be great to go from the starting engine to the final engine? I doubt we can, but at least we'll know what we need for it. What am I missing? Oh, I need more corrupted energy. Okay, I didn't realize it took four corrupted energy to buy that. So we will buy that in the near future, though. So I think we're getting, like, no upgrades done, unfortunately. Actually, how much is this Olympium torch? Ooh, this would be nice. I doubt we can get it right now, but this is essentially an upgraded blowtorch. And you've seen probably how much I repair in this game. So I'm just trying to unlock things at this point. We don't have any of the late game loot so we're probably not going to get any of this done. I need Olympium fragments for that. I don't even know where you get those things. So we'll find out as we go. So yeah, I think we're just going to go out, hope for the best here. We do have three quirks right now. I think I fixed my big problem ones though. Yeah, we have no more parking brake issue. I just wanted to make sure of that so we didn't have another episode of me struggling with that thing. Uh, so yeah, we have a pretty simple job right now. Well, not simple. We have to go into the deep zone, but we just have to explore the deep zone. So I'm just going to queue up one of these routes here maybe i'll put two just to get options we'll do all three just to see where we want to go here because we do have three scanner charges all right so now we have many options to get there all right well as you can see there's no real easy option i'm liking this g1 because we have this nice peaceful zone here so i can get generic items also that goes right to d1 that's also in the open so i think this is definitely our safest route so we're gonna head down this way by starting to go to g1 first uh, that's not good. Swollen. What do I do about that? Fix none. Dude, I'm on my first zone. This is the most peaceful zone ever, and already something has happened. Oh, great. Okay, so I got a swollen battery. All right, we've reached the mid zone. Can you tell? Thankfully, it's a nice straight road all the way through this. So, uh, yeah, there doesn't look like there's going to be much loot here. I'm just going to try and get to the deep zone as quickly as possible. Okay, so now we're in true mid zone. This is a nice little town it looks like so we'll be able to stop off here I think I've been to this one before there's no roads that are connected To all the buildings. All right, we'll get through this. There is some anchors right beside me somewhere like where is a safe spot to just park? Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna have to go all the way over here just to get out of that zone Ooh, we got the red things over there. I think there's something that's usually beside those that I need but yeah, right now, I should be able to just walk over here and grab this. I don't think it's too far away. All right, stay away from me. There we go. I saw one thermosap. It went way high in the air, though. There it is. The one. <laughs> All I got was one so far. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. You are just trying to kill me. Okay, pull back, pull back. Oh, what are you doing? No, not the time to be doing this. Okay, there we go. I forgot I had that thing put the shield on here okay a little bit of a damaged shield my back i'm having a cork now where my back trunk is opening up so that's fun there we go that's what i wanted the marsh eggs or whatever they're called at least we're getting some of these resources that i really need right now yeah marsh eggs i need a lot of these things though 
Is that it? All right, we have a few more cars around here. So yeah, the marsh eggs are always around these giant red globs. So at least we know that. Oh, I guess they're not always around the red things. I found these cars in the middle of nowhere. Uh, obviously having marsh eggs on them as well. What'd you guys have? What'd you steal from me? Oh, it's a marsh egg. Ah, what the? No, I just want the marsh egg. Just give me. Thank you. Screw off. Screw off! Those things are truly the worst. All right, we got a storm slowly coming in. I don't want to overstay my stay, so we're going to head down the roadway here and get on to the next zone. At least we got a bunch of marsh eggs in this zone. I think the next one might be in the deep zone. Actually, we do have an engine problem, so I just want to make sure what is going on with that. Uh, mechanics kit. Okay, good thing I checked that before the engine blew. And we can make one, so there we go. Just got to patch up the old girl. <laughs> weary? Why, why is my engine weary? <laughs> <laughs> There's no fix for that. Great. Driver, we've seen that car protect you this entire time. It's triggered a gateway in your time of need. It's ferried you back to the garage through every circumstance. And Not every circumstance. I've road. died a few times. So you can trust that it'll protect you long enough to get you away from whatever and wherever you end up. Well, maybe you trust that I don't. Like a heavy dose of blind faith to me. Yeah. Could be. Oh, there's one last part to this, oh, and it's oh. waiting for you no! back at the auto shop. Take your time. Enjoy the view. Okay, so it's waiting for him when we get back to the shop. So I guess we made it as far as we needed to. Uh, we're not in the deep zone yet, though, so we're heading there now. I gotta get, go get some of that rare loot, man. All right, and here we are. Finally in the deep zone. And there's a jump right away. Should I do the jump? Oh, God, should I do the jump? Do I do it? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes, baby. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. That was a bad idea. That was an awful idea. All right, so what do we got here? We got a lot of anchors, which is good. We'll go down to this junction here. Try and loot anything I can along the way. What am I hitting? What am I running over right now? Oh, God. Actually, hold on. Oh, a guardrail. Great. I'm actually on, on the guardrail. I might actually be stuck. All right, that's the tour bus that I needed. Nice. Okay, I thought I already scanned this thing, but I didn't. I don't remember if these things blow up or not with flares, but their friends do, so let's find out. Okay. Is that a flare? You just gave back the flare. Thanks, I guess. Oh, please don't blow up beside me. Please don't blow up beside me. Ooh, okay. Almost landed on one, too. Ah, oh, please don't blow up. Oh, my God. That was so close. There's just freaking tourists everywhere. It's driving me nuts. I can't drive anywhere. Uh, all right. Maybe I should go on foot. I'm just going to go loot this real quick. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're blowing up. Where the hell did the one go that I just ran into? It's gone now. I hate the tourists. They're so eerie. They move, but you never see them move. All right, excuse me, everybody. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Okay, I need to go down here. I need to get some anchors. I need some of that good old unstable anchors. Okay, I think I'm going to stay in my car. There's an option to walk as well. Oh, God, this is quite deep. I should be fine. I mean, it's not like I don't have the starting engine in this car or anything. Oh, man, I wish I could get a better engine. All right, well, we see the anchor right here. That's kind of what I'm going for right now. Seems like this is more of a peaceful part of the map, too, so that's kind of nice. That generally changes when I grab these things, though, so I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of things that pop up in a second here. Uh, huh? Not so bad. Fortunately, there's, like, no other loot here, so I definitely want to... Okay, okay, what is that noise? <gasps> ah! Ah, they're beside me! How did you get right beside me? I didn't know the freaking tour buses move as well. All right, yeah, we don't have the best map for loot, but that's okay. What the hell is that? Um, we've got more explosions in the distance. Look at all the tourists. <gasps> oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm just, oh my God, look at them all. <laughs> oh, hey, it's those bubble things. That's what I need right now. All right, tourists, don't attack my car, okay? Just gonna go steal these. Is, it, is, is this the candy? Oh, no, it's just red balloons. I'm not really sure what these are for yet, but we'll grab them because we're here. Oh, he gave me an armored door. Thanks, I guess. Is this all of them? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be sucking in. Is that? Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, we have enough to get the hell out of this zone now if we want to. It's actually not a bad zone. What's that up there? Oh, that's just a gateway out of here if I want to. Um, I'm actually full of anchors, so I can't get any more anchors. So I'm just gonna look around for some more rare loot because we're here and I'm still doing totally fine. Uh, we'll use my scanner here for the first time in a while. Do I, can, I, can, I, can I see it when I get out? Yeah, so we got oil. I'm looking for anything rare. That's just cars. Lots of cars around. Not seeing any of the rare loots, though. 
Okay, so we're gonna get back on the main road and then maybe we'll port out of here. I really didn't find much at all, which is a bit of a bummer here. Uh, at least it's kind of peaceful too. Ooh, we got some uh, plasma over here. So we'll go grab this. Okay, and let's see. It looks like it's pretty much smooth sailing over to this one. So I think we're just gonna get out of here. I don't want to loot homes. Homes don't really help me much anymore. So yeah, we'll follow the roadway out of here. Hopefully we can make it in time. I just want to play it safe and stay on the roadway if we can. Oh, that is going really fast. Is it faster in the deep zone? It is shrinking remarkably fast. Oh, I don't want to skip the roadway because that goes down a big hill. That's why I wanted to stay on the roadway. Oh, God. We are already in the storm, aren't we? Yep. Jeez. Oh, thermosap. I wanted to go grab it. I don't got time. No time to grabby. All right, there's a left turn coming up. That's my safety route. Right here. Oh, shouldn't have took the shortcut. Oh, I'm gonna have to break through these. There we go. Now we're fine. Just damage the lights a little bit. The car's doing absolutely fantastic. That was a very stable drive considering that was our first deep zone drive. All right, and back home. We'll see what happens next because they told me to get back home to hear their plan, I believe. Fresh new upgrade there we go. For you, driver, straight out of the oven. Huh? What? Where? Oh, the Numa tube. That's right. Okay, so it comes to the out, doesn't it? No. It goes to the in? I'm still confused by that. Okay, we got something from her. Install the overcharger on the arc device. Oh. It could work. <laughs> it will work. We don't know anything there about we go. well, but the driver doesn't have to go in completely empty-handed. You're removing the arc device's limiter and overloading its charge capacity. Okay. Right. So no matter how much energy the car's getting blasted with, the arc will be able to overpower it to open a gateway. It's the only way to extract the driver from whatever's going to happen at the trigger point. And then we use Alan's suppression technique to keep the whole thing from completely exploding? This sounds like a lot. This whole thing's been a lot. But we've survived so far. Well, thanks to scanning that tour bus, we can get reinforced headlights now, which are the best. I doubt we can make them, but at least we've unlocked them. We're doing very good at unlocking things, but not getting the requirements to make them. Yep, and we need Olympium fragments for that, and we only got two in that whole run. So uh, that'll be a while until we get those. We may as well get the bio headlights for right now. That's one thing I didn't want to buy because I didn't have a lot of swamp coral, but now I'm getting a lot of it. And these things are said to be living, so that's exciting, I guess. <laughs> there we go. We have living headlights. How exciting. Wow, they do way more light. Look at the light difference. That's actually so cool to see. Something I maybe should have got a little bit earlier. Oh, it's a propeller for my uh, front hood. I, I will gladly change to that. You know, it's kind of smaller than I expected, but that's what she said. All right, got my first Olympium armor just to see what we need for that. The Olympium door, that's going to be the best armor that you can get. We need Olympium fragments, obviously. I just want to see if I can afford it yet. No, we need a lot of Olympium. So I just got to figure out how to start getting that. Something else I forgot to do is get the high capacity battery. We can afford that now. So that's going to be a huge increase in battery power. So we'll say goodbye to the old lead acid one and hello to the high capacity. So there we go. We have lots of power and gas. I did see, unfortunately, I have a leaky gas tank, uh, I think. So let me just check. Yeah, I'm assuming that means leak. Yeah, so I need a sealing kit for that. Actually, uh, didn't I get that unleakable tank? I wonder if that goes in that slot. Leak resistant fuel tank. Yeah, I need carbon for that, though. So I did actually unlock the expanded backseat tank, though, and I didn't actually put that in either. So that's two major upgrades to fuel and energy. And being that it's leaky, we don't want that thing anyways. And there we go. Okay, those are some major upgrades, too. That's good. All right, I almost got one of my quirks done. It's just the opening trunk one. I, is it right? It's either right or left, I'm thinking. I think this is my last guess. Yes! I'm amazing. Thank you. All right. And oh, great. Now we have five quirks. Uh, we had three when we originally left. God, I need to get the upgraded quirk station because I'm not going to be able to keep up with all this. I hope they're not a big one because, um, yeah, quirks can really kill me here. All right. And being that that run was pretty basic, we're going to go out again, see if we can explore more of this zone. I don't want to re reach the barricade yet. I got to get more upgrades, man. So I need to go get either thermosap or maybe some swamp curls would be nice. Uh, as well as a few other things. So we'll see what we can find out there. Maybe this will be a better run. Okay, we made it back to the deep zone. It is quite stormy out. Uh, looking at the map, another small one. This game just hates me right now. Uh, all the way here, this is the only zone I can go to. So we'll definitely do this one. I'm going to scan real quick. 
Not seeing much of anything. We got a nice vehicle over there, but I don't really care about vehicle parts. I'm looking for the new stuff. I did get a bunch of tree candy, I believe it's called. So at least I got that. That was in the mid zone. Hopefully we can find something here too. All right, we're back with more tourists and tour bus. There is the anchor that I need right there. Whoa, what the hell just happened to me? All right, we got something new by that anchor. That looks like be a new emblem, the 98 meter one away. So, oh, is that the, um, yeah, that's the things I need. Okay, so we're going to learn exactly where those come from. And it looks to be on these giant poles. So if we scan this, yes. Yeah, so we need a, a magnetic hammer. No. So I can't even use my ordinary hammer. I mean, maybe I can. Hold on. I might need to just try a couple times. This is, this is the... This is the end tier armor, so I gotta get the magnetic hammer to get it, it looks like. Oh, wait, I can actually probably just do it here, can I? Nope, I actually just destroyed my hammer totally. That sucks. And, I mean, it does damage it with the hammer, as you can see. But it would take forever for me to extract this, so I do need that new hammer. Well, at least we learned that. Uh, kind of sucks I didn't make that, though. I don't think I could anyways, even if I wanted to. I'm always nervous doing this because things always attack me, but I do need some to get out of here. All right, everything's fine. There's just pillars going up all around us right now. Oh, God, the pillars now have uh, tourists on them as well. Great. All right, just trying to get through here without destroying everything. Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Don't, don't, don't go into the tour bus, please. Oh, jeez. All right, well, we're still doing okay. Uh, looks like I have, like, the 15th flat now. Uh, I think this is a flat, at least. Never mind. Looks like it's loose, so we need a mechanic kit. It's, all, it's also bald, so we're going to need to change our tires soon anyways. I think this is a mechanic's kit here. Indeed, it is. Fix that on the go. All right, and we'll scan again. Again, I'm just looking for resources, so we're in a nice safety area here. Uh, that is, I think, a loot chest. Not seeing any new emblems aside from that one, so... Oh, I don't think we're going to get much new. I'll head over to that loot chest, though. See if we get anything in there. And then, obviously, there's homes here, too. But I don't think the homes really change much. We'll try and loot this one and see if there's anything new in there. Oh, actually, there's uh, more of these loot crystals right here. So, yeah, we really need that magnetic hammer. Because I would love to get these veins. And there's absolutely nothing in this house. Okay. Well, it pays to go into the houses, I guess. All right, yeah, this is just one of those well things. Sometimes there's good loot in here, though, so not always a bad thing to go loot these. And uh, we got some stuff. But yeah, we'll see if there's anything else around these anchors that I will grab. And if not, we'll probably just end up getting out of here because I do have some decent items and I do not want to lose them. All right, we're here. Is there anything here of interest? There is a loot truck. I think that's all I really see by quick glance. Great, yeah, I'm just getting unlucky with this deep zone loot zones. Maybe the deep zones aren't really for loot. All right, well, we got one big one and one small one side by side. We'll obviously go try and get those. Uh, I'm pretty far away from that, though, so we're going to have to take our time. And yeah, there is nothing here. This is so alien-like over here. Oh, was that one of the red thermosaps? No, I think that's another vein. Where am I going on a lake? Like, look at how weird this place looks. Okay, so I think we're back on kind of a roadway. Is this road? No, I am not on a roadway. <laughs> I am nowhere near a roadway right now. It doesn't even matter anymore. The roads are just as dangerous as uh, going off-road, it, it, it feels like. So, yeah, we'll head up this way. Just going to do another scan here. Yeah, there's, like, no loot in this zone. You can see there's loot up near the road, though. So, I guess we'll head back there. Ooh, a little bit of damage there for some reason. All right, so we're back on the roadway. I'm just going to walk over to the rest of this. Let's actually turn off my battery. We should have lots of battery power, but I have been scanning. Yeah, we got lots. That's the one good thing about my car now. My fuel and battery just last forever. Of course, I said I was going to turn off the battery, and I didn't. All right, now to the pitch darkness. I don't have any torches or anything, so hopefully I don't need it. Am I holding a toilet paper roll? What am I doing? Actually, we can just light a flare just in case there's something of use around us like this this truck. Wow, that was convenient. And these are always fantastic for basic loot, so I'll gladly take that. What is that? Uh, circuit boards are pretty good. Eh, I don't have the space, and I don't have the time to deal with it right now. All right, so we'll go down, grab this. There should be another smaller one around here, too. I mean, at the bare minimum, at least we're gaining a lot of corrupted anchor for when we do get these loots. But yeah, it's a bit of a bummer that I'm not finding much at all in terms of loot. All right, there's one. We'll go just pinpoint the other one. May as well go grab it. I think it's right here. Oh, we do got a storm coming in. 
Uh, yeah, not worth it going to get that now. You know what? I'm just going to screw it. Just get out of here. We'll do that and call it a day. All right, so this has no safe roadway over to it. So we're just going to have to kind of take our time and work our way towards the giant light beam. Maybe I should have planned this better. This is some pretty technical ground, as you can see. But we're heading the right way. We just got to climb a giant. Oh, I got to climb this whole mountain. I got to go around it. I'm not going to be able to climb this. Oh, uh, can I even get to it? I really hope this isn't blocked in over here. Because if it is, we got to go around a different way. I'm not going to be able to climb up. I think we're fine. Okay. There we go. Squeeze through into the opening here. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, my God. The sound design in this is fantastic. Take some damage here, but that's all right. It's hard to take much damage with my base engine here. It's not like I can go very fast with this old thing. All right. Well, we made it to the deep zone twice. Didn't get much of what I wanted, though, but that's okay. Avoid all these things. And we did get a bunch of tree candy, though, and I don't really remember what that's for, but I know I needed it. Let me actually check. Yeah, I got 36 tree candy. I think I got some thermo sap as well, so not all was lost. All right, we have a new, whole new storage container for loot as well. So, yeah, 36 tree candy and eight thermo sap. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. The most important thing we learned, magnetic hammer is definitely needed. So we're going to unlock that right away. And oh God, I hope we can make that because if we can, we can get out there and get a bunch of this high tiered armor. All right. We got some limb magnets. I guess that was from looting as well. Those are pretty hard to make, I remember. But uh, we can make our mag magnetic hammer. So when we get out there again, we got what we need to get the best gear in the game, which is super exciting. Oh, and the carbon fiberglass was for... Sorry, the tree candy was for the carbon fiberglass, which is pretty huge. So we'll make a few of these. Biggest thing I want those for is, is, is the new tires, the all-terrain tires. So yeah, we'll upgrade to these because my old tires are not holding up very well anymore. These have the benefit of having more HP. They don't look too cool. Actually, they look really cool. So yeah, we'll switch over to a full set of these right now. This is actually a very exciting upgrade because by far the most common issue with me is tires. They're always blowing or something. So having more HP is always going to be a good thing. All right, guys. And I think that's a good time to wrap it up here. So this was our first major exploration into the deep zone. And honestly, not as bad as I expected. Maybe we got really lucky with our runs, but uh, definitely wasn't as challenging as some of the mid zone. That's for damn sure. But there's a lot more loot in the mid zone, it seems like, too. Uh, but yes, we've learned a valuable lesson. We now have the hammer that we need to un unlock the best gear in the game. Uh, definitely want to go to the deep zone again. And we also have to uh, reach that barricade. Well, we need to find the barricade for the operating station. So we'll see if we can do that in the next one. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey there. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. <laughs> Captain! It's too bizarre. Why am I bizarre? What's wrong? That face is too... It's it's too messed. Here, put the smiler on. Somebody show him. Oh, Here. my God. No, I'm keeping it.